Hello and welcome to Game Day Interview. I'm your host, Malachi, a.k.a. also a player, and I'm here with the other players for Week 1 against Hillsborough, and their names are... Bryson. Sergio. And we are going to interview basically myself and them for the Game Day. So our first question is up is, how are you feeling going into the first game of the season? I feel pretty good. Um, I'm ready. Last year, we lost to him both times, so I'm just ready to – I hope we win so, you know, we can get our revenge. I'm Probably me, I'm feeling good. I really want to get revenge because last year we lost We lost against them two times, and we're trying to get number 13. We're trying to kill his legs so he won't run the ball. I feel that. I feel that from both of you guys. Um, How I'm feeling, you know, I, I this is my first year. Um, not my first year playing football. It's actually going to be my third, fourth year playing football. First year here at Ferris, and I feel like I'm going to love it. I love the coaching. I love the players. Um, but I'm feeling great going into this game. I know I looked at some of their videos on YouTube and stuff, seeing uh, number 13. You know, uh, that was also a challenge. But I feel like our defense is looking very, very, very good. I feel like number 13 will not want to run the ball today. And But other than that, for offense-wise, since I play offense, I'm feeling great. I'm ready to uh, get the blocks, especially number 77. I saw him. I watched some highlights on him, and I'm ready for him too. All right, so next question is, what is your prediction on the score for our game, 18, for the game? Um, I think if we can stop number 13, he'll get like maybe two touchdowns. I think the score would be like 30 to like 12. I think it all it all it depends on is if we can stop number thirteen. Like, if thirteen can get stopped and like we can't like even make them not be able to run the ball, then it'll be an easy game. My prediction on the score will be like thirty, probably thirty to fourteen, probably because we're trying to stop fourteen. He's he's mostly a ball hogger, and um, we're trying to. Stop him, run the, stop the play, and try to get our ball back. I feel the same. I feel the same. Um, Probably the same as almost Bryson. And, you know, we all probably have the same statement with number 13. You know, he got the legs on him. But our defense at, at practice, we were looking, like, beautiful. So I feel like if we can just stop him, it's going to be an easy dub. They'll probably get, like, maybe one or two touchdowns. Um. And because, you know, probably near the end of the game when our defense starts getting a little tired, you know, probably the, like, beginning of fourth and near the end or middle. Um, but I feel like the score will probably be, I would say, like, 38 to 14 jackets. All right, so our third question of the game is, what is your motivation for the game? Um, my motivation is like get revenge, and my grandma she's not doing so well, so just to make her proud. My vo- my motivation is that my I'm trying to win this game, and we'll probably go and get we're gonna go against them again, and probably win another game against them, and I'm trying to show my family how I, a good player I am. That's nice. That's nice. Um, my motivation for the game is, you know, um, my mom, you know, you know, uh, and the coaches and like impressing the coaches, like, you know, why they, they chose the right person, the new player coming into the year to take this left guard for the offensive line. So I feel like my motivation is probably just coaches and my players and my fa- my mom, you know, um, all the excitement, show them what the excitement was about, what the talk was about, that it wasn't cap, it was actually facts. All right, so the fourth question is, do you listen to music to lock in for the game? And if so, what's your playlist or, like, your songs? Um, If Coach lets us listen to music, I do. I listen to some country and some rap. Um, It just helps me lock in so I, I can zone out and, like, make everybody, like, quiet. Uh, so I can just focus on my game and how I'm going to be uh, the best player I can be. I do listen to music some, um, even before the game. And uh, sometimes I, I listen to Mexican rap music. It's, it helps me motivate. And also, if I listen to 
this in it to class. It helps me motivate and concentrate in my class and focus. Same here. Um, for I listen to music. Um, now I don't know like when we can listen to music. I just heard that we can listen to like on the bus headed to the game. And I listen to music. I probably listen to um, you know, all the cuss words doesn't really make me lock in. So I probably listen to like Christian rap. Th- that goes hard too. Um, some country music because I am from Texas. Um, and I have a country accent. Sometimes it'll pop out a little and. Um, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I listen to, um, uh, like a motivation podcast. Um, just like to get that, me- get that locked in for me too. And like, help me lock in. All right. So our fifth question is what is your main goal for the game? Uh, my main goal is, you know, I played QB last year. So moving to center, um, I just want to be good and get my snaps right. I don't want to, like, mess up in the middle of the game. And, like, it could cost us a play or a touchdown. My goal is to stop 13 by running the ball and moving his alignment um, upfield and us us running the ball better than last year. Nice. Um, My – my goal for the game is basically make sure I get every block. Make sure I get my hands on number 77 because that's probably who I'm going to be going against. And make sure I get my hands on him and make sure I block him and I play physical, I fly around, um, at least give my quarterback some time to get the ball out of his hand, probably about three Mississippis. And if longer, that's going to be, like, my big chance. Um. All right, so sixth question is – Um. Did you have any weaknesses in practice? And if so, did you fix it? And are you ready to, like, fix that weaknesses in, like, um, the game? Like, is it gone? Uh, yeah, my weakness was, like, whenever we were practicing in the gym, I wouldn't want to hit him too hard because, like, I wouldn't want to, like, get him hurt or nothing. And then, like, coach would get mad at me. So, right now, like, when I go on on defense, I'm just ready to, like, just do my best. And, like, if I got to body slam somebody, then I just got to body slam somebody. My weakness is that every time we'll go on the field and then it's um, scout defense and first team, oh, I I am – I'm usually slow to – sometimes I'm usually um, not getting the block right and then letting them pass me and get the QB. But I fixed that a couple times and then I'm getting better at that. Yeah, I feel like my weakness was in practice is – First off, you know, having to make sure I keep blocking my man if he does a little – some cheat things, like, you know, if he goes head first, because that hurts my head a lot, having to make sure I still block him. If he grabs my face mask um, or when he accidentally steps on my cleats, I still have him. Um, and then my second week weakness was – our pool plays, you know, I feel like my cuts were horrible, like getting out the position, going to pool, and then fighting a man. But I have worked on that a lot. You know, I'm still getting my cuts better, but I feel like if we ever run those, that I can, you know, I feel like it would be perfect uh, with Hillsboro. Um, and then with with uh, my, like, you know, um, when they play dirty, you know, blocking them and make sure I'm still blocking them when they do, you know, I'm, I'm – that's that's all gone and I'm like ready all my weaknesses are gone and yeah so that is all the questions for today we are ready to go beat the Eagles Hillsboro Eagles um we're high are y'all hyped yeah Yeah. yes sir so we're gonna go ahead and end this game day interview thank you for tuning in I'm Malachi I'm Bryson I'm Sergio And we'll see y'all next time against Sunnyvale versus Ferris.